Hey guys, if you struggle with carbs and insulin resistance and struggle to lose weight like I have in the past, you are gonna to wanna to tune in because I'm telling you today about a wonderful book called The Glucose Revolution that has made a serious impact on my life. I've learned so much from this book and I just found out, <laughs> Don't even ask why I'm holding a stick in my hand. I just found out that the author is coming out, please forgive my puppies as well in the background. I just found out that the author is coming out with a companion to her book um, very soon and hence the inspiration for this video. So tune in to learn more about my biggest takeaways from the glucose revolution. Let's get started. Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. I wanted to come on here and share with you, and by the way, you can probably tell I'm sitting out back on my back porch, <laughs> and I've got two, <laughs> two puppies running around, and one of them is our brand new 10-week-old puppy, Sydney, who might be making an appearance here shortly. The other one is Bijan, who is over here eating literally a branch. And I have to keep an eye on him because the other day um, he was in my kitchen, which is now my makeshift office while we housebreak Sydney. And uh, it was actually very scary. Um, he was, he's very fond of eating branches, which I'm just gonna show you. Can you see him eating a branch? Very fond of eating branches. Anyway. He's looking at me like, what are you doing filming me, mom? Um, he somehow got a piece of branch that was about this big stuck in his mouth, on the roof of his mouth, in between his teeth, and he was freaking the F out and running all over the kitchen. And I could tell he was gagging and freaking and he was taking his paws and trying to get it out. And uh, he threw up a little bit and you know, I'm trying to chase him down, trying to get it out. I didn't know where at the time this piece of stick was. I knew it was a piece of stick that it was caught in his mouth. I didn't know if it was in his throat. I didn't know if he was, you know, choking on it. And all I know is I'm home alone. I have this baby, Sydney. This is our new baby who looks a lot bigger. It's amazing how much bigger. When they say the camera adds 10 pounds, she is so much smaller looking. And as I'm holding her, looking at her, it's so funny because Ever since we got this, this puppy and she's fallen in love with Bichon, the two of them are like best friends. Steve and I joke that she's like, just as far as Steve and I are concerned, she's just like, just keep me fed and give me a house. I, that's all I need you guys for. <laughs> I mean, I know she loves us and everything, but it's pretty funny that she's like... Anyway, so... If you see me glancing over here, that's why. I'm just keeping an eye to make sure that he doesn't swallow a large branch while I'm talking. But anyway, um, I decided to come back out here and shoot this video today because <clears throat> um, I wanted to get a video up. Um, I actually am catching... <laughs> It's very clear that I have catch, I mean, I'm catching slash have caught my husband's cold that he has had for the past five days. Um, we did a COVID test on him. He doesn't have COVID, uh, but he's had just a banger of a really bad cold, bad cough, and has just been having to just take it easy and, and like, you know, lounge on the couch and, and he's been very tired, had a really bad cough. But I, frankly, I'm just really surprised that I'm coming down with it. We slept in separate beds. You know, I, I'm kind of one of those people who psycho about, um, washing dishes, you know, keeping things sterile, if you will, and um, it is what it is, but <clears throat> you'll probably hear me clearing my throat a lot. Um, I just, today, it became very clear, middle of the work day, I just started getting this dry cough and <clears throat> um, I ended up having to just take a nap with baby Sydney and um, I really don't feel well very well right now. But that said, um, I didn't want to get into this bad habit that I was doing last year when I was having all these health issues of, um, you know, with, with my YouTube channel of going, no, I'll just skip today. 
I'll publish on Friday and then Friday comes along and something happens on Friday and you know it's just it's so easy whether it's your YouTube channel or your workouts or your work or a certain project or whatever to give yourself a hall pass on things and if you can without endangering yourself without you know in this case Am I making myself sicker by publishing my video? No. Um, do I really feel like shooting my video right now? No. But can I slap on a little bit of makeup and put a filter on right now <laughs> and shoot this? Yes. So I'm going to rally and I'm doing it. But what I thought I would talk about today is um, something I've referenced in several of my past videos on keto and insulin resistance. And that is this book that I read that made a huge impact on me that I strongly recommend. I will link it down below. Um, and some of the key takeaway points that I'm utilizing on a regular basis. And, and again, this book and the reason I'm doing this, you know, video and bringing this up is I just saw on Instagram that she is coming out with, and I'll have to look up the date and, and then I'll put this down below in the link. I think it's, you know, sometimes authors will say, oh, I'm coming out with this book and then plain. It's a... Uh, for myriad reasons. Um, not only so it doesn't take a year once you have an idea and and then you get it out for people to buy but also because you get to keep more of your money um, i just don't understand the whole reason of why it, when an author gets an idea by the time that author gets the idea and somebody edits it and prints it it takes a whole year i don't understand that <coughs> so um, this book is called the glucose revolution um, i do not for the life of me remember how i stumbled on it because it is a very different book um, as far as like, I think maybe how like Amazon or maybe a traditional bookstore, there's not many of those left, would categorize this book. You know, it's not necessarily called like a diet book. It's not a nutrition book, so to speak. Um, it's definitely more of like, a book based on science and this woman um, gosh I'm trying to think of her name she's French if I'm correct um, and again I'm gonna link it down below I'm not even gonna try to speak it from memory but she essentially biohacked and broke down you know how food impacts our bodies from a from you know not not necessarily only like an insulin resistance perspective but from the impact it's making on our glucose and um, you know a, a glucose spike right and what she found is you know she was in individually frustrated with how eating certain foods made her feel um, with spikes and crashes with her blood sugar you know she didn't necessarily know that that's what was happening so then she sought to find out why do certain foods make me feel really good and then really bad and and so she was doing it for her herself and then she just started to test and tweak well what if I want to have these foods but not feel so bad you know and then what she found is what is it that's essentially making me feel bad for her it wasn't necessarily and again I'm going by memory in the book for her it wasn't necessarily that she she was having a weight gain problem or weight loss problem it was how it was the food was making her feel but in doing that research she was able to find you know that food causing this glucose spike for those of us that do have the problem for those of us like myself that do have an insulin problem where you know when food causes these spikes it does correlate or have a causation effect correlation or causation effect <sighs> that's what's going down right now it's all good times um, <laughs> in the beginning I used to freak out and think they were hurting each other but they're not um, um, so what she was able to find out is Hold on, let me just show you. This is this is my um, Bijan's idea of of a toy of what he's and he's very upset that I took it. Sorry about that. What are you doing, little girl? See now she's getting very upset that I'm holding her. 
But is she not the cutest? She got the cutest. Why are you holding me when Bijan's over there? Okay, now the sun is setting and it's potentially good lighting though. Maybe I should just take advantage of it. So um, anyway, in this book, she's talking about, I really have no idea if this is good lighting or not. Maybe I should accept it and take it, strike a pose. Of course, it's gonna make me squint though. So that's not really good lighting. Um, I'm gonna have to move, damn it. See, now it's, and then it's also causing a shadow. So we're just gonna stand. We're gonna go over here and stand. Okay, I'll just stand here and then my neighbors are gonna be looking at me really thinking I'm weird. <laughs> There's Kelly standing on her back porch holding a tripod talking to it. <laughs> it's okay. So um, in this, I wonder if I can make this. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can adjust my tripod and make it stand. Probably not, probably not. Hold on people. Nope, it's gonna be too short. This is, <laughs> Unless I want to just stand and talk to you, bent down. Nope, I do not want to do that. Don't knock this over. Now it's all crooked. Okay. I don't feel like going inside and fixing all my lighting, so we're just gonna stay out here. Um, so anyway, so she's talking in this book about how she figured out number one, part one was how food affects your glucose spikes your glucose um, and then she figured out how if you tweak the um, you know number the number one thing that she figured out was if you combine your foods um, in other words eat protein first let's see if I'm remembering this you dress your carbs that's one of her big things that she talks about in this book in other words don't ever eat carbs by themselves um, you wouldn't eat just a plate of rice by itself you want to always want to have protein with your carbs you always want to have healthy fats with your carbs um, that's one of the big things was you know kind of like food combining and then she talks about how eating your food in certain orders can also lessen the impact of food on your glucose um, if you eat your pro see I don't necessarily do this so th this part of it um, so this is this is not a technique that I'm using as much but so I don't remember this and I'm hope I'm articulating this correctly um, I think it's like you can eat vegetables first then your proteins and it, by the way when when we're talking about these eating these foods in order it's not like eat your vegetables wait 10 minutes, then eat your protein, wait 10 minutes, then eat your fats. It's not like that. It's, it's more about like, you know, eating, and she addresses that in the book. So don't, don't think it's like, well, I don't wanna ruin my meal. And you know, if I've got a plate of broccoli with butter, I have to separate the butter from the broccoli. It's not like that. Um, so I don't necessarily do the food foods in order but you know you definitely want to think about um, never having carbs by themselves I've, I've certainly heard of that for sure but you always want to have carbs with with a good dose of healthy fats with a good dose of protein that's going to help um, and then one of the things that she talks about two things that I have incorporated for sure are apple cider vinegar and then movement um, directly after a meal that that entails you know let's just call them you know maybe the naughty carbs we shouldn't be calling any food naughty or bad or whatever but you know I'm just doing that for descriptive purposes so apple cider vinegar is something that I've heard of and I've talked about before but she goes into great detail and let me just tell you something I've tested this out with my continuous glucose monitor it absolutely works like a freaking charm so if you before say you're going to have a meal with a bunch of rice and for me i have tested this out rice is one of the foods that jacks my glucose up higher than almost any other food rice is my achilles heel um, it's more it jacks my glucose up higher than an apple higher than oatmeal higher than almost any other carb sad face because um, i actually really like rice with particularly sushi which we're having tonight 
If you take a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, put it in a glass of water, drink it before a carby meal, it will significantly lessen the impact of those carbs on your glucose by upwards of 40 to 70%. I hope I'm quoting the, the range, okay? Don't quote me on that, read the book. Um, one time, we were having sushi, and I had quite a good amount of sushi with the rice. Usually I have quite a lot less, and I really watch how much sushi I'll have with rice. I had a good amount of sushi. My, my um, continuous glucose monitor gave me an alert, and my, my glucose had spiked to 164. You're not supposed to let your glucose spike over 140, okay? I went in and I had a, I took apple cider vinegar in water, took a glass, and within 25 minutes, it was back down to 120. So from 164, it went to 120 in 25 minutes. That's how well that works. Number two, her other technique is that within 70 minutes of eating carb food, get up and move your ass. Whether it's going for a walk or picking up, I actually keep a kettlebell now at the foot of my couch because sometimes I'll actually just do kettlebell movements, whether it's squats or overhead presses or um, why am I not able to think upright rows or kettlebell swings or whatever. I'll just do a circuit like while I'm watching TV. But Steve and I started going for a walk with the dogs after and before it was a singular dog. Now it's plural. We'll go for a walk right after dinner. And if you are, here's the simplest way to say it. If you are going for a walk or doing exercise immediately after your meal, you are actually like burning up those carbs. That's the simplest way of saying it. That's the non-scientific way of saying it. But otherwise, if you're just laying on your ass watching Netflix, those carbs are going to like go right to your, I know I'm not saying this correctly, they're gonna go right to your liver and be stored as fat. I know I'm not saying that the right way, the scientific way, somebody's gonna catch me on and go, that's actually not what happens, that's not how your body does it. I know it's probably not how my body does it, I'm not the science person, I'm also not the author, so I also just told you that I'm not, I'm going by memory, so crucify me, okay? Um, this book is filled with all kinds of tips. Um, I learned so much about carb hacks and tips, and now she's coming up coming out with a second book. It's basically like a companion that tells you how to use these tips on a lifestyle basis. Um, I will have to check and see when it's coming out. My dogs are like really going crazy right now. Um, but I will tell you, the apple cider vinegar thing, the going, I mean, if you, if you could take those two tips, number one, apple cider vinegar has more benefits also for your gut for, and further, I found that when you take the apple cider vinegar before dinner, you're you're just automatically a little bit more full as well before you eat dinner. Going for a walk after dinner is just freaking good for you. Gets your steps in. Why not just incorporate those two tips just for health and wellness and see what it does for you? And then if you have insulin issues like me and stubborn weight loss, see, you know, track it see what effects it has for you right now i have to go catch up with these puppies and see what damage they're doing here in the backyard plus husband is bringing sushi home so i've got to go pour myself some apple cider vinegar and water and get ready and then we're going to take these guys for a walk and then we're going to enjoy our evening so i hope this is helpful for you definitely click the link below definitely get get yourself a copy of the glucose goddesses um glucose revolution book definitely follow her on instagram and on tiktok she gives out great um, little blurbs uh, and tips on videos she's fantastic i love her and also pray that i don't get a really bad cold and have to sit home and be on the couch all weekend because uh, i hate being sick it sucks and i will talk to you guys soon thanks for tuning in i'll see you guys next time on the kelly o show Thanks everybody for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. Of course, I'm gonna link up here to all of my other videos on keto, low carb, and all that goodness. If you have any questions, of course, please be sure to leave them in the comment below or email me, kelly at kellyalexa.com.